so we have to take a look at Sensionics Holdings again, as the stock just outperformed the entire market, being up more than 40% since we last covered it a few days ago. And as this all first happened as a sort of recovery from pullbacks after initial spikes at the beginning of the year, we are now almost back of all-time highs, while breaking the $4 level right now. So what we are going to do today is give you an updated insight into what is happening to Sensionics stock, and break down exactly whether it is still a buy at the end. And as the analysis in the video is absolutely crucial to consider before buying the stock, make sure to stay tuned. But before we jump right in, just hit that subscribe button down below. And as we'll keep you updated on breaking news and awesome trading opportunities every single day, subscribing would not only help us, but also you. So there is really no excuse for not smashing the subscribe button, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you feel so. Alright, let's start talking about the stock. So Sensionics is a medical technology company who basically focuses on providing implantable glucose monitoring systems or CGMs for those with diabetes. It made some incredible progress on its commercialization of these devices and appears ready to target a multi-billion dollar opportunity in the diabetes space. What investors are most interested in however, is, next to the eventual short squeeze, which we will discuss later on, its Sensionics Eversense XL product. But, and this is crucial to consider for our prediction at the end of this video, these devices haven't only received a lot of attention from investors. Essentia, another huge player in the area for example, has backed Sensionics recently. In addition to raising capital via convertible debt with this Essentia partnership, the two companies have set themselves the mission to bring Sensionics core products to market. This high-profile backer has provided significant validation to investors on the fence with the stock. Additionally, investors can start to see a path forward to long-term growth and eventual profitability, if this collaboration works out as intended. And there are a few very important reasons to know before buying the stock that could prove this assumption. So as an early-stage medical device company, Sensionics doesn't have a lot of revenue to show for its efforts. As mentioned before, over the past 12 months the company's brought in less than $5 million in revenue. However, and this is also very important for the prediction at the end, this stock has garnered sufficient excitement to justify a nearly $2 billion market capitalization. Accordingly, something must be up for investors to be willing to put their money to work in the company at these levels. That's what we have to take a look at now. So in early February, Sensionics announced the initiation of European commercialization activities for its CGM system. In partnership with Essentia, the company tries to bring its new CGM products to market in Europe, with the hope that they will be as well observed there. According to recent estimates, this new market could reach $4.3 billion by 2025. Sales are expected to grow at a significant rate of more than 16% a year as well. This would translate into an approximate doubling of revenue every five years, if this growth rate persists over the long term. But what is way more interesting and the main reason for the stock to be up so much in the first place is the massive hype it currently experiences from retail traders. And it's got all the makings of a successful meme stock breakout. It is a single-digit stock with a small float of just 280 million shares, high short interest, with 25% of that float sold short, and tons of retail attention. That's the same recipe which caused GameStop, AMC, Clover and others to break out as well. Nevertheless, this stock is certainly not cheap right now, and investors are taking a leap of faith of sorts with Sensionics at this level. Execution risk remains high with the stock, and the company will need to continue to show results from its commercialization efforts before we see this stock take off. So there is certainly huge potential growth here in the company, but it's nevertheless a risky pick considering the current valuation. Alright, with that being it for today's video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and want to support our mission of providing free financial information to everyone here on YouTube, please ensure you're subscribed and definitely consider leaving a like. As mentioned before, it really means the world to us. Thanks a lot and see you next time.